everyone and welcome to Hit Brains. You may think that to write your first ever Python code, you would need to learn the whole language. But fortunately, you may be wrong there. In today's video, we will be walking you through the interactive mode of Python and also get you writing your first ever Python code in seconds. So here we go. So first of all, I'm going to go on this Windows icon right down there, I'm going to click on it. Then I'm just going to type in Python, and as you can see, it's already downloaded. But if you want to download it, if you want to know how to download it, you can check out the previous video, which I've linked in the description down below. So I'm going to click on it, and as you can see, a big white window has appeared on my screen. This is basically called the Python shell, or in simpler words, the interactive mode. There are also three arrows pointing towards your right. These are called the prompt. You always write your code after it. As you can see, even after clicking on enter, it doesn't disappear, so what it wants us to do is start writing code. So now let's start writing the first code, which is a simple addition. So we're going to take two simple numbers like 3 and 4. So 3 plus 4, get your answer, 7. Now let's go a bit higher in the range of numbers and jump onto subtraction. So I'm going to go for 56 subtract minus 34. So I'm going to click on enter here and as you can see we got the answer 22. Now let's talk about multiplication. Uh, you don't actually, actually see a specific multiplication sign on this on the keyboard but we could just try with the cross as we write in our notebook. So let's try it out. 3 cross into 5. Click on enter. As you can see, there is a syntax error. You never use an alphabet as a mathematical operator or an arithmetic operator. Well, as I proved it to you guys, you never use the cross. What you use is the asterisk. This is basically a star shaped icon used for multiplication and this is what Python thinks of a multiplicative operator. So I'm going to do 3 multiplied by 5 and let's get the answer. It's 15. Well now when we came to multiplication we also can't leave without doing division. Well, now you can't see a single icon referring to or means division, but we, Python understands division by a backslash. It may sound weird, but yes, it's true. They, uh, Python understands the a division by a black backslash. So I'm going to simply do 25 backslash divided Five. So click on enter and as you can see we got the answer 5.0. Now I'm going to go with a decimally answer requiring some division. So I'm going to go with 67 divided by 5. So let's see the answer. It's 13.4. It also takes in decimal values. Uh, now let's move on to the technically python -y code command. So this is kind of related to Scratch I guess, but let's talk about Python right now. We're going to first start with a very simple print function. This is an inbuilt function that Python understands to give you an output. So to first type in print, then get in some parentheses. These are curved brackets, not the curly ones, the curved ones. 
this is these are also called parentheses. Then you can use either of the quotation marks. You could use the single quotes, or you could even use the double quotes, but make sure they're not like this. Okay? So now I'm going to type in a very simple code or maybe it's kind of a complicated one like hello world well this is kind of complicated but i guess python would take it in as you can see python has given out an output with no parentheses no quotation marks and no print it only has given what you wanted to give it. If you wanted to give in quotation marks, there is another function for that. It'll, I will definitely try to show it to you guys in the upcoming videos. That was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something new. So be sure to like, share, subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell for further updates. You can also let us know what you want to learn next in the comments down below.